where are we missing these benefits from plant compounds in our animal-based diet? This is the argument. I think that there is a net negative to these compounds. There's no clear benefit above and beyond what you can get from already doing things like sauna, from already living your life well. And what you're going to avoid is all the negative effects of these plant compounds, which are clear. They are digestive enzyme inhibitors. They are endocrine disruptors, which is hormonal disruptors. They are going to deplete you of nutrients. They are going to potentially damage the gut like lectins. All of these come packaged together and they are problematic. In the case of resveratrol, that is a xenoestrogen in many ways. It is going to, it is a phytoestrogen like quercetin. It could be a hormonal disruptor in some people. So why are you doing that? Why would you take resveratrol for instance? Well, you might take it because you wanted to activate the sirtuin genes for longevity. Well, guess what? Fasting does the same thing. Heat does the same thing. Cold does the same thing. You can get all of these genes activated by exercising, by doing these things. And if you fear mTOR, you shouldn't because a mammalian target of rapamycin is critically important for your muscles, for your vitality, for your longevity, for your stability, for your libido. And if you listen to the podcast I did last week or uh, in which I talked about, there was a post I did this week on Instagram on intermittent fasting. There was a study with a six hour intermittent fasting window. And those people over four days saw improvements in autophagy genes in the morning, but they also saw an increase, an increase in mTOR at night when they were fasting. So there's so much mTOR fear mongering happening now. And it's usually coming from people that are kind of skinny fat. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. They don't have muscles because guess what? Exercise. Lifting weights triggers mTOR, and you don't want to do that, according to them. So this whole thing is just kind of crazy, and I don't think there's really a strong argument to be made for these plant chemicals in the human diet. They're redundant, and do not forget about the side effects. You can choose a plant molecule, you can research it well, and you will find side effects that could potentially be harmful for humans, and potentially at the root of autoimmune illness and chronic disease for many people. Again, here is the framework. If you are thriving, change nothing about your diet. If you can eat a salad, if you can eat some of these plant molecules and doesn't bother you, no big deal. But if you're farting, if you've got bloating, if you've got gas, if you've got autoimmune disease, if you've got skin issues like I used to have, if you've got mood issues, if you've got sleep issues, if you've got body comp issues, you might wanna think about questioning those assumptions that you've based all this on. And maybe you can refine your diet and focus more on the foods that are most sought after by humans. Your goal as a human, if you truly want to be healthy, is to get the most nutrient rich foods that are the lowest in toxins. And I believe there's a real clear hierarchy there. At the top, say it with me, organs, meat, animal fat, fruit, honey, those are the most sought after foods, the most nutrient rich foods that are the least defended, the least toxins. That is a recipe for optimal thriving health for the vast majority of humans on this planet. Every once in a while, somebody asks me, what do you think? Are people different? Are there some people that could be vegans? Are there some people that will ideally eat an animal-based diet? Some people eat a pescatarian diet? And I think, no, I don't think so. Most of us, in fact, all of us listening to this, maybe there's some canines, we're homo sapiens and our genetics are the same. Our biochemistry is the same. The way we use nutrients, the way we, the way we interconvert nutrients, our folate cycle, our biochemistry, it is the same. The immunology at the level of our gut, it is the same. Lectins are harmful for people, period. Nutrients are depleted by phytic acid and oxalates, period. You can get more nutrients on an animal-based diet, period. 